right, so some common mistakes you may see or be doing during a Romanian deadlift is one, sorry, one, is instead of hinging at your hips and bringing your hips back, is that people like to just kind of bend over. So along with that, a lot of times people aren't using their lats when they do an RDL or a deadlift. Um, and kind of just have them inactive so that they're just bending over and rolling back up. So this is definitely going to cause some back pain. Um, so we want to think of pulling our lats down, our shoulders away from our face. So that we don't want pinching our shoulder blades together or stretching them up to our face, pulling them down, and then bringing our hips back behind us. So if we have a weight, think about keeping it close to your legs, bringing those hips back. And again, with an RDL, we're only going about mid-shin right below our knees. We're not going all the way to the floor like a regular deadlift. Um, and then another mistake too is head position. So instead of looking up and pushing your hips back, a lot of times this will cause people to arch their back um, and cause some neck pain with that, especially if you have neck issues already. You're curling up like this in this uncomfortable position. So you want to think of your neck as an extension of your spine. So I like to either kind of look forward and away a little bit or understand that to bring my hips back. My neck is in line with my spine and back up. And then lastly, is that people like to do more of a squat instead of a hip movement. So they would keep their chest up, sitting down more into a squat, then with the hips. So we want to again think of bringing those hips back behind us. Nice soft knees. You don't want to lock our knees, just a little soft bend and pushing your hips back. So those are some common mistakes that are seen during a Romanian deadlift. Right, so the first thing we're going to go over is a three-point hinge. So this is an exercise that helps teach someone how to do a hip hinge, getting into that RDL movement. Um, so you're going to need a PVC dial or broomstick, that's what I have. Um, so you're going to grab one end, bring it back behind you, grab the other end down by your butt, so above your head, below your butt. You want your head, back, and tailbone touching the dowel. So think about tucking that tailbone so everything is nice and flat, even that lower back against this dowel. Then we're going to think soft knees, and then push your butt back as far as you can, keeping everything touching the broomstick of dowel, and back up. Pushing back, and back. So that is a great tool to teach someone how to do a pinch. So give that one a try. All right, so the next variation I'm gonna show you or progression from the three-point hinge is going to be a band pull grow. So you're going to need a band for this. Um, you're going to anchor it to something that's sturdy. And then you're going to step right over the band so it's gonna be in between your legs. You're going to walk forward so there's some tension on this band. So just like we did with the three-point hinge, tuck your tailbone, soft knees. You're gonna push your butt back towards that back wall, letting your hands go through your legs, and then stand right back up. So pushing your hips back, and right back up. Again, we don't want to see any rounded shoulders, so think about pulling those lats down towards your butt, just like that dowel is still on your back, keeping everything touching that dowel, and pushing your hips back, and stand right back up. So that is another variation or progression to get to go over the dumbbell RDL. So before we get to a barbell, I like to do dumbbell RDLs, so we're gonna have the dumbbells in front of our legs, pulling the lats down, tuck our tailbone, and you're going to think about pushing your hips back, sliding those dumbbells down your legs, right below the knee, and then back up. Again, slide them down, pushing those hips back, and right back up, so we're feeling those hamstrings and glutes, keeping those lats pulled down so that we're not rounding our back. Hips go back, 